The past is your playground, Abstergo. Hello, Initiate. Recently, Abstergo Historical Research began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, Bishop! Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Bex. I've got a picture. ETA on the payload? Sending it now. A lot to sift through. I'm gonna get the initiates on it ASAP. You look weird with a weapon. Let's plant a little bug and see what we can see. Got something. Isabel Ardant has a meeting here in a few hours. Uh, doesn't say with who. Doesn't say with whom, Rebecca. I suppose it's down to Muggins here to find out. Hold on. The mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now I am eager to try this new kit. I don't like it when those two go off book like this. Well, all we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the piece of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry. Twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. Brother George, it is as I feared. London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you begging your aid. Thrice you've responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough, one might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. His name is Crawford Starrick, and he intends to rule the world. There is no aspect of society he does not control. No industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. There is no business untainted by his poison. No person unexploited, be it by duplicity or force. Our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all. And so, as you look inward, and dare I say it, afraid, Crawford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond, to kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered, though not for long, for he knows. As I have warned you time and time again, whosoever controls London controls the world. The iron ships from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Think you both can handle it? What a question. All oh, right. My mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. George, honestly, I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every route covered. And I've got all I need right here. I'll extend your regards to Ferris. 
Chat later, George. We have a train to catch. Jacob! Evie! May the greed guide you, you vagrants! Poor man. More afraid than ever. The years have not been kind. Evie Fry, where do you get it from? The same place as you, Jacob. for my head. in or out, lest there's a problem. I hold the machines. That door opens, and I have my route to Ferris. Sanitary inspector. This man is dead. You're the dead man. Run along now. I'll take you out of break for mercy.
Mr. Ferris, sir, the, uh, the lad in the factory should be taken to be bandaged by the apothecary. Fine, but dock his wages. Yes, sir. Shall we arrive at a final price, Mr. Ferris?
steady profit for many. It is done. Oh? What did you accomplish, boy? A vault loosened in Starrick's machine. A large bolt, but not enough. Your Grandmaster will fall. You assassins can circle London to your heart's content. The mechanism we have built has been going strong for a hundred years, and will run a thousand more. It is the very city itself. We will take London from your hands. From Croydon, you lurk in the shadows like a coward. I doubt it. We seem to have made an unscheduled stop. next time I'll walk.
Yard. Guard quarters. Brewster's laboratory. This is where the piece of Eden will be located. No loose ends. Now, did a couple the locomotive and create a diversion. Well, where is it? Huh? Where's Brewster's supplies? Meter. like Jacob's cooking. That should keep you busy while I head into your lab. down the tracks. You stay here. And keep a lookout. All right. I'll shout if I get any bother. First for a bird's eye view. Can't be too careful. with the device. Your questionable practices are beginning to draw unwanted attention. You've been given more than enough time to achieve results, Sir David. 
I was unaware that you expected me to perform like a cocker spaniel. Permit me to remind you of your obligation to the Order. Miss Thorne, you ride me like a racehorse. Sir David, I will return tomorrow. If you have not unlocked the device's secrets, forget your dogs and horses. I will leave you to the wolves. Good day. I was merely promised a tour of the premises, my lords. Who sent you? It's one of green spies. Get that man to interrogation. Then I want him brought to the lab. What a pity. But no deviations from the mission. pointed straight here.
Perhaps I can aid this interrogation. Thank you kindly. I was in ever such a squeaky fix when, what do you know? You rescue me. Where's the hidden laboratory? Untie me and then we can parlay, my lady. I'm pressed for time. Tell me now. It's underground. Requires a key. One of the guards nicked mine, cheeky sod. Thank you. Uh, now, untie me? You got yourself in? I trust you can get yourself out again. Not to worry, my lady. Can still recall a couple of tricks from me carnival days. Charming. Downstairs, then. I want to see that artifact. Not if you value your life. Get out of here. 
There you are. The entrance to Bruce's lab. Can't it wait till the morning? No, it can't. So do as you're bloody told. And by the way, it's sir to you. The bloke on that. That is totally unacceptable. of Eden. Increase the electricity. But it'll become unstable, sir. You heard what Miss Thorne said. We need results now.
time to lay down your head, Sir David Brewster. But I have so much more to discover. Do not be afraid. I'm not. God will protect me. I will continue your experiment. You will not stop, Staric. Miss Thorne has already found another piece of Eden, more powerful than the last. I will take that one, too. We fight to gain what we cannot take with us. It's in our nature. I must find a way out. Was that explosion? What explosion? EV. Piece of Eden detonated and took the lab with it. The magic lump of hyperbolic metal. I'm shocked. Simply because you have never valued the pieces does not All mean... went according to plan, hmm? <clears throat> there was a slight complication. How slight? The lab exploded. Jacob. You derailed a train. Oh, he did. Did he? Well, the train derailed, and I happened to be on it. I killed my target. Brewster is also no more. Then all in all, a successful mission in spite of you two. What about London? What about it? We're wasting our time out here. You know as well as I do that London has been the domain of the Templars for the last hundred years. They are far too strong yet. Patience. But the Templars have found a new piece of Eden. Sir so David is dead. They do not know how to use it. The Council shall guide us. Sound advice that your father would have seconded. I shall see you back in Crawley. Patience, Evie. Ah, oh, the gentle sound of opportunity passing us by. So what's stopping us? London is waiting to be liberated. Forget Crawley. Father would have wanted us to listen. Oh, Father. You could continue his legacy in London. Freeing future generations from a city ruled by Templars. You know, Jacob Fry, you might just be right. Then shall we? Yes. Let's. Onward to London. <laughs> I 
know, I know. You've only had a taste of our latest acquisition from Abstergo. But I want to check in on Sean and Rebecca. I still think attacking a Templar is a mistake. Call Dr. Grammatica. Come on. Please, Isabel. What a lovely surprise. Our mutual friends will be here shortly to search for the artifact. Once it's located, I'll let you know. Super. Always a pleasure. Prick. It's people like you that give historians a bad name. I'm afraid I don't have time for you today, Mr. Hastings. Thank you for making my job easy. Oh, shit. It does look grim. Masterberg, Agent Acosta. Deal with them, please. Move it! Hunt them down! All they had to do was wait for you to search the data. Their little stunt has put the whole operation at risk. You need to synchronize Jacob and Evie's memories. Find something that puts us ahead of the enemy. Time is of the essence, and lives are now clearly on the line. Good luck. I've never seen so many people all at once. <laughs> Churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described. Now, to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Is Mr. Green again? The assassin watching over London? Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? <laughs> Oi, watch it. Beg pardon, sir. Oi! Come back here, you filthy dipper! Jacob. You little mobsman. Keep it. Well, well. What do we have here? You're on our property. Boy, I'm so carving you. Excellent. What else does London have to offer? Now is not the time for tourism, Jacob. Now's the time to find Henry Green. I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. Race it to the highest vantage point. You're going to lose again. Not on my watch. shop located. It was marked on Father's map. Two assassins. Equal in height. One female, one male. Two decades old, and those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry Twins. And you are? Henry Green, at your service. I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. 
What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the Council desires news. London must be freed to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the Council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Starrick sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries. His reach extends all across London. I've always thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. Huh. Well, I have uniforms. And I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. That's it, Evie. We can rally them to our side. Oh, like the way that you rallied those card players at the Oakwood Tavern into the river. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves the Rooks. You were never good at chess, either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh, well, let me show you the lay of the land. Shall we? way to see any landscape is from above. Look at what Starrick has done to the city. Whitechapel is riddled with crime. Child labor, despite regulations. A gang known as the Blighters overruns the streets. And Templars manipulating behind the scenes. As in all the other boroughs, we need to return this city to the people who built it in the first place. We will free London from Starrick. You have my word. Am I Rooks? Miss Fry, your passion is inspiring. Come. Let us return to my shop, and I can bring you up to date on the rest. looking for me. Who's Kalor? One of Starrick's gang leaders. Why does he want you? He's after some of my more arcane research into one of the precursor artifacts. The Peace of Eden. So tell me about these blighters. In search of an army, Starrick gathered up the nastiest of the underworld. Some of the city's gangs tried to prevent it and were slaughtered for their efforts. Now, only Whitechapel's clinkers remain opposed, but they're no match for the blighters. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? They're just the sort we're looking for. You can't be serious. Evie, they're ready to fight and oppose the Blighters. This is my chance to step in. Look out, London. Here come the Rooks. this city no one looks where they're going yes I've noticed that bloody drood I'll never 